This is my first Hot Wheels gasser. I had been looking for this 50th anniversary favorites gasser for a very long time and I kind of gave up to be honest. So I was super excited to finally find one. You love sports cars. You're a diecast aficionado. Fuel your passion. Join the stick shift family of YouTube channels. Subscribe now. New videos will be uploaded on Saturdays. Visit my channel often to check back for new video content. You may also like to watch some of my other Hot Wheels reviews and DIYs. Welcome Hot Wheels fans to my channel Stick Shift Hot Wheels. I was fortunate enough to travel to Costa Rica on vacation. While there, I was able to do a little bit of Hot Wheels hunting. When in a foreign country, you may never know what Hot Wheels you might find. This can include old cars from five years ago, rare car culture models, or brand new models. One man's trash is another man's Hot Wheels treasure. Here's a list of what I paid for various Hot Wheels models, main lines, exclusives, and car culture vehicles. Loved this in cap Hot Wheels display. Very cool. The Universal Library had an amazing selection of Hot Wheels, and I found some very awesome cars that I've been looking for for a long, long time. They had pegs on spinning displays, they had pegs from floor to ceiling, and they had another display that was just a wall of pegs. It was Hot Wheels Paradise. As you can see, no one in Costa Rica wants the Hot Wheels zoom in. I was able to find some Mazda Miatas and some Gassers. This was the Hot Wheels premium section filled with 50th anniversary favorites, drag strip demons, satin and chrome cars, and a lot of Target exclusives. This VW drag bus was very cool, but I left it behind. The wall of Chevy Bel Air gassers. This was a large display filled with new and older Hot Wheels from 2015 and 2016. I had been hoping to find cars from this set for a long time. Looks like they received a case of about 20 of these ice cream trucks. An interesting three-pack version of the Coffee Cruisers set. Costa Rica appears to get a wide variety of Hot Wheels playsets that we don't get in the United States. This Triceratops looks awfully scary if you ask me. Not sure why Hot Wheels is including dinosaurs in their Hot Wheels playsets. The 50th anniversary Chevy Bel Air Gasser was one of the most hyped models when it came out in 2018. It was literally impossible to find, so I'm super happy to have finally found some. It looks awesome in this metallic magenta color. I love the lime green roof with the matching lime green windows. The chrome interior, the chrome engine looks awesome. Details are very neat. I can see why people like the gasser so much and why it's one of their favorite castings of all time. It's a very, very pretty car. This Chevy Bel Air has a very mean stance. I can just hear that V8 rumbling just looking at this vehicle. It's that awesome. They had about eight of these gassers at this store and I am happy to pay the $8.12 for this car. It is totally worth it and it was a heck of a lot cheaper than buying it on the second hand market. I was so excited to finally find this Hot Wheels Art Car 83 Chevy Silverado. It's been well hyped and it is seriously cool with the graffiti on the side of the truck. The stance is perfect. The maroon color looks awesome. It's just one bad to the bone truck. I had to pick up two more of these while I was in Costa Rica as well because I know I will never see one in California. I'm a huge fan of the 83 Silverado now. Amazing. I had a lot of Hot Wheels castings firsts on this trip. 
and the 83 Silverado is definitely one of my favorite castings. I was super happy to find this yellow car. It was completely absent in Southern California, which is no surprise. This pearl yellow color looks awesome, and as an added bonus, this premium vehicle has a metal body and a metal base. Unlike the other graffiti truck, which has a plastic base, and it makes a huge difference with that metal grill. The custom 69 Chevy pickup was a first edition for 2002 and was one of my favorite cars from that year. This version in metallic purple with white tampos looks absolutely stunning. I love the lime green and the artwork on the card as well. This is just one of my favorite Hot Wheels castings. It looks awesome, stance is perfect, the covered headlights look great. The step side in the, in the rear of the bed looks really cool. Very classy job, Mattel. Well done. This light blue custom 62 Chevy pickup was the last vehicle from this series that I found. And it has an amazing stance. It is scraping the ground almost. My only two complaints are that the surfboard has been moved from the premium model and I wish this vehicle had different wheels. I don't really care for this design very well. Uh, the PR5s would have been excellent. The chrome interior and chrome bed are absolutely gorgeous. This was the second high roller that I found on my Costa Rica trip. And this is part of the X Racer series. I'm really falling in love with this casting. It is so unique and so different. And this X Racers series has a great benefit to this casting. There's a small porthole in the side of the body, which allows you to see part of the engine in the neural casting. But because this is the X Racer version, and it has a red clear plastic body, you can see the entire V8 engine on the side of the vehicle, which is very, very cool. The 2018 Hot Wheels Zamac Flame set was a Walmart exclusive and was incredibly hard to find. I was lucky to find the entire set in Spain when I was on vacation in 2018. I regret leaving all but two of the cars behind in Spain that day. I was delighted to find this set still on the pegs in Costa Rica. I was missing three of the vehicles, but sadly I forgot which cars I had bought. The detailing on these cars is awesome. I really like Zamet cars and the colors of these flames are really, really cool. It's a great set. I'm happy I found two more of the eight. In Costa Rica, comic book stores usually stock Hot Wheels. I saw the pegs full of Hot Wheels as I was walking down the mall and I just caught them out of the corner of my eye. So I got lucky, I almost didn't notice them. And man, what a mother load of old Hot Wheels from 2013 to 2015. Anyone need Papa Wheelie? After searching the pegs, all of the cars were fantasy vehicles, but I did find a fair amount of unusual gems. A small selection of Marvel and Star Wars Hot Wheels. I finally found the satin and chrome Datsun 510 wagon, but they wanted too much for it. An odd selection of Matchbox snow vehicles. This yellow ATV 6x6 was really cool. So many duplicate ice shredders. I came across three of these first edition side rippers. This has to be one of the strangest castings ever. A snowmobile with wheels. These were my favorite finds from this store. I fell in love with the Great Gatsby, which is a play on words on the Great Gatsby book. This is an awesome fantasy casting of a car from the 1920s. I love the look. And I love the asymmetrical design with the chrome exhaust coming out of the driver's side front fender. 
Awesome yellow and black 20s color scheme. Sweet. I struck gold twice with this second Great Gatsby in dark metallic blue. Looks awesome with these kind of uh, sand colored tampos. Looks awesome. The PR5s look magnificent, especially the giant rear wheel. Very, very classy machine. I really like this casting. It's awesome. It's different. It's kind of quirky, but it's elegant at the same time. It just oozes class. Great job, Hot Wheels. You continue to surprise me. If you like cars from the 20s and 30s, I suggest you pick one of these up. You won't be disappointed. Next up is High Roller. This 2016 new model came in two color variations. This one is the black and light yellow variation. I am very excited to find a first edition casting back from 2016 still on the pegs. I love this color scheme. The black with the silver tampos works awesome and this light yellow is very pastel looking and definitely has that 20s feel but it's understated elegance. Very very cool casting. It has a metal base and a plastic body. This car was a first edition back in 2004. This magenta version of the 2015 release of the Off Track is very cool off-road vehicle. It features a metal base, a plastic body, and a clear plastic roll cage, which is really cool. And I like the tampos, they look awesome, works well with the yellow rims, and I really like that the headlights are part of the windshield, it works great. The extended metal off-road front bumper looks awesome and is definitely plays the off-road part. I was able to find three ice shredders and they are bobsleds. One of the most unusual Hot Wheels castings I've ever seen. But I found them intriguing. The blue car is from 2015, the red car is from 2016, and the black car is from 2017. This is the 2016 new model Side Ripper. It's a custom built motorcycle with a sidecar for racing. I knew this car was unusual when I saw it, but I didn't realize how rare it was. I was able to snag both 2016 new models at the same store, and this casting has only come out three times. There's one other version from 2017. Formula Flashback is another 2016 new model. It looks awesome in this Hot Wheels race team blue with the chrome red rims. This original casting is based on a vintage Grand Prix race car. Very nice. This is the 2015 Super Stinger. It's blue and features flames on the side. It features a V8 engine in the back and this car definitely looks like a Stingray or Manta Ray. Kind of cool for a street beast. I checked out the store Yuga Tone in the same mall. I hit the jackpot of 2018 and 2019 in some older models. I always had a soft spot for these. Never could find the complete set of these, but I found them two years later. They were overpriced at 7,000 colones, which is $12.36. Are you kidding me? They had a mountain of Star Wars character cars. Collectors have been foaming at the mouth over the Datsun 510 Wagon Satin and Chrome Edition. This is my very first Datsun 510 Wagon Hot Wheels ever. It's kind of a cool model, but I think it's a little bit overhyped, the casting as a whole. But this version looks very nice in this satin gray with the gold interior. It looks very cool. I wish the base was gold chrome as well, so the front air dam would be gold chrome to match the wheels. It would be perfect. The last vehicle I bought from Hugo Tone was this Matchbox Dune Chaser. It's the 2017 version. It's one of the widest castings I've seen in a long time, and the scale seems a little bit too big. It's a metal body with a metal base. This was inside another toy store within the large shopping mall. 
They were a little bit pricey in this store, but I was able to find some gems. This three-pack blue highway set was interesting. There was also some Forza cars. I found various Target exclusive models at various stores. I picked up the Shelby Daytona Coupe from the Forza Horizon 4 series. It looks awesome in this metallic blue with white stripes. The G63 AMG 6x6 is one of my favorite castings. I have never seen this new version with a Jurassic Park with blood splattered on the doors. It's awesome. Smash that like button, click that notification bell, and subscribe to my channel, Stick Shift Hot Wheels. You may also like these other related videos. Share Stick Shift Hot Wheels with your friends. Check out my Instagram page for more of my photography. As always, Happy pig hunting.